Hey everybody. Well, I had a crazy little job come into the shop and uh, it's really not something that I wanted to do, but it's a young kid. He's got an RC car. He needs some parts modified and he was willing to give me some decent money to do it, so I'm doing it. But what we got to do is cut this thing in half shorten each half to 29 millimeters and then machine a, a couple of sleeves for both halves to slide in. So I got a measurement of a uh, 2 inch 590 on this one. Uh, divide that in half. So I'm just going to go ahead and mark this with uh, some painters tape and uh, cut them with a Dremel. Well, that wasn't pretty, but it's in half. Well, not much better. Well, I don't know about you all, but it seems like every time I take a job that I know I shouldn't, just to help somebody out, that's the job that turns into a big problem. And I'm sure this one's going to be no different. Then I'm going to figure out how to hold these things to machine them down in the lathe. Which ought to be fun with a little ball on the end where I can hold it in the chuck and of course the collet's not going to work because I need to take off more than that nice well these are like 156 so I broke out the uh, number drill set I grabbed the number 22 which is 157 thousandths it's a nice tight fit let me make sure all four will fit this could be different sizes. Okay, so we're going to use this as uh, work holding. It's a slip fit. I'm going to use super glue and I'm going to glue it in place, chuck on this, and machine that. So if I type in 29 millimeters and convert it. Okay, so our length is 1.3. I'll take 142 off of that. So I need to remove 158 thousandths. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this guy in the chuck. And we're going to place this inside the lathe chuck it should hold it relatively true now let's see how it runs yeah, that's running pretty good Okay, so I'm just going to touch off on the end here. Bring it out. We'll set that as my zero. Okay, so we'll set that as zero. And we'll remove 158 thousandths. This thing is really thin, so I'm going to only take ten thousandths off at a time. I don't need to be bending it. I'm not going to chamfer that, but I think I will hit it with some Scotch-Brite. 
Well, looky here, 1 inch 143. I'll take that. Okay, so we got it clamped up. I'm just going to hit it with some propane, break the bond, pull that out, drop it in some acetone, and I'll move on to the next one. I'm not going to show you all three. I don't need that much. This is acetone. Get rid of that glue residue. I'm going to do the other three off camera. I've got two more parts to make for them. Little sleeves. We'll show a little of that. I cut these uh, about 40 thousandths longer than they need to be, so we'll go ahead and uh, chuck one up in the lathe, face off both ends, and we're going to drill it with a number 22. We need it 984 and we're at uh, 1 inch 19 thousandths so there's 15 and 19 24 34 so we'll take off 34 thousandths See what we got. Nine eighty four. Well, this certainly wasn't a project video like you guys are used to seeing me doing. But uh, his parts are done. I gave him a call. He's on his way over. He's real happy. I'm going to give him this uh, little fixture that I made. And if he ever wants uh, more of these things done, he could just bring it back to me. If it sits around here, it's going to get lost. Well, this is a short video. Hopefully uh, there was a, a tip in there or two that you may have learned something from. I'm not sure. It's kind of a, a weird little project. I'm sure no one's going to be doing this over in their shop for anybody. But uh, maybe there was something you learned in the video. So this is Rich, and thanks for watching.